Welcome to Blackout for Relativity, the most comprehensive automated redaction and markup tool for relativity. This quick start video is for reviewers and general users, but if you are a case manager or an administrator, you can click either of the quick start video links above, which will lead you to the quick start video that is geared towards you. As a reviewer, you will likely be working with these blackout functions. Native manual markups on Excel and PDF documents, the Blackout Markup Review Card for Native Markup Review and Quality Control for both Excel and PDF documents, the redaction of Excel charts, comments, headers and footers, objects, and sheet names, and the redaction of PDF attachments and annotations. Now let's take a closer look at these functions. Each of these functions will include links in the video description to the corresponding page on our support site where you can learn more information about each topic. To get started, let's talk about native manual markups. Blackout enables native manual markups on native Excel and PDF files. The way that each of these native markups is placed is simple, but each has its differences. For native Excel files, you will be using the blackout right-click menu to choose your markup styles and place your markups. For PDFs, you will be using the blackout toolbar at the top of the viewer to select redaction styles or highlight colors, and then simply clicking and dragging, similar to relativity image redactions, to place your markups. Now, let's take a deeper dive into each of these, starting with native manual Excel markups. After navigating to an Excel document, to begin placing markups on a document, make sure that you have selected the markup set where you want your markups to be placed. The markup set selection will be located in the bottom left corner of the viewer. You should keep in mind that markup sets are remembered on a per user basis. That means we will remember which markup set you were on so you don't have to deal with it again. To place a markup, select the cell or cells where you want to place your markup, choose your markup style, and place your markup. After placing your first markup, Blackout will prepare the document in the background out of view. To learn more about this process, see the link in the video description. After each markup is placed, you will see the markup status indicator in the bottom right change to show the current markup status for your markup, along with a message telling you when your markups were last saved by Blackout. After placing all of your markups, it will be time to review and quality control your documents. To do this, we will use the Blackout Markup Review Card located in the bottom left panel of the viewer. Once the card is open, expand the menu and choose Markup Review. In the top right, there is a refresh button. Generally, it's best to click this before starting your review. This will ensure that all new markups appear. Then, from the Markup Review section, markups can be accepted or rejected. Information about each markup will be separated into filterable columns that allow you to narrow down the information you would like to review. Manually placed markups will be automatically accepted. Additionally, you will see different status indicators for each markup. Applied, represented by a green check mark. This will only show briefly and then will fade away. Pending, a visual indicator that Blackout is placing and saving your markups. Failed, represented by a red triangle. This means that the specific markup that you were trying to place has failed. Once a markup has failed, no additional markups can be placed on the document. When this happens, the best course of action is to notify your case manager or administrator and then move to the next document. Now, sometimes there are more complex items that require markups. For these items, the Blackout Markup Review Card should also be used. From here, when on an Excel document, you will be able to redact charts, comments, headers and footers, objects, and sheet names. Once the card has been opened, expand the menu and choose what you would like to work with. After choosing the category you would like to mark up, a menu will appear within the card allowing you to redact the corresponding item. The way you manually mark up native PDF documents is a bit different. After navigating to a native PDF document, make sure you select the markup set you would like to place your markups on. The markup set selection will be located in the bottom left corner of the viewer. As a reminder, markup sets are remembered on a per-user basis. 
This means that we will remember which markup set you were on so you don't have to deal with it again. To place native PDF markups, you will be using the Blackout Markup Toolbar located in the top of the viewer. You will see a few different tools here. Select Mode, used for selecting or resizing markups. Redaction Mode, which is used to select your redaction style. Highlight Mode, used to select your highlight color. And the Blackout Markup Visibility Toggle, which enables you to change the transparency of the markups you have already placed. Placing the markups on a PDF is very similar to how you already place markups on Relativity images. Simply select your redaction style or highlight color from the Blackout Markup toolbar. Then, click and drag over the area of the PDF you would like to mark up. It's that simple. When it comes to reviewing your markups, as with Excel, the Blackout Markup Review card will be used to review your PDFs too. Once the card is open, expand the menu and choose Markup Review. From here, markups can be accepted or rejected. Information about each markup will be separated into filterable columns that allow you to narrow down the information you would like to review. Similar to Excel documents, there are sometimes more complex items to redact within a PDF. This is usually embedded data such as attachments or annotations. With Blackout, we can recognize this information directly within the viewer. Attachments and annotations can be found from the Blackout Markup Review card in the bottom left of the viewer. After opening the Blackout Markup Review card and expanding the panel, select either Attachments or Annotations. This opens a tool to easily redact these items all from within the viewer. You won't be able to see redactions for these items directly within the viewer, however. If you'd like to review these, you'll need to use the Download Marked Up File button in the bottom panel of the viewer. This will burn in your redactions and download the marked up version of the PDF for you to review. And there we are, a quick reviewer overview of Blackout. As a reminder, there are links for each section covered in the video description. If you need help or more information, please visit us at support.malili.com.